Lincoln Riley recognizes Deion Sanders as a strong leader despite never meeting him. Lincoln Riley couldn't have made a better decision than to be at USC. He has the Trojans in a prime position to compete for a national championship as the Pac-12's early front-runner this season. However, there was once a time when he was in Deion Sanders' shoes. Riley was one of the first to use the transfer portal to flip the Trojans' roster when he arrived in Southern California. It wasn't at the level Sanders experienced over the past year, but nonetheless, it was an overhaul that was instrumental to USC's success. He was asked about the matchup with Colorado during his weekly radio appearance Tuesday and applauded Sanders for his work. He's done a great job. Look at the results, Riley said. At the end of the day, our job as coaches is to do what's necessary to help make these programs that they give us an opportunity as best as we possibly can. Riley sees Colorado at a point USC was a few years ago. It's not a full rebuild, but rather a change in direction with better results to come after the team gets time to settle. Sanders wasn't banking on this being in the basement anymore and took it upon himself to prove his naysayers wrong. There's a lot more similarities in the transformation here and, Sanders, has done at Colorado than there's not, Riley said. I see right where he's coming from. He's done a great job with the roster. Riley went on to say, I don't know him, and I've never met him, but he seems very genuine in his approach. Listen, everybody's different. Everybody has different personalities. I think leadership, when you're fake and you're something you're not, people can see right through that. If you are yourself, you can be a great leader. Sanders was scheduled to meet Riley at Pac-12 Media Day. As fate would have it, Coach Prime was hospitalized with another surgery to remove blood clots. Colorado tries to upset 8th-ranked USC on Saturday. They'll face another Heisman candidate in Caleb Williams, who's off to a great start in his defense of the award. It will likely the last time the Buffs and Trojans face off as conference foes.